Congratulations to the class of 2021, to the graduates of the School of Architecture and Planning. I want to recognize and celebrate the completion of your studies during this unprecedented year. What you just accomplished this year took an extraordinary effort given all we've been through. You completed important degrees in disciplines that are inherently focused on improving our places of inhabitation, our cities, our neighborhoods, our parks and green belts, at our homes and institutions. Most importantly, you have chosen with your degrees to become leaders and participants of critical conversations now taking place on how our circumstances can be better shaped to address our current and our future generations. You should be proud for taking the initiatives to do this, and you and your families should be very proud for your hard work, which has led to this momentous celebration. In recognizing your special day, we also say thank you to our faculty and staff of the School of Architecture and Planning for setting the stage for your success. We also thank all the mentors who offered encouragement and help along the way. The attainment of a university degree is a collective effort as much as it is a personal commitment to being resourceful and driven and completing what you set out to do. Congratulations to you, class of 2021. We know you will make a difference in the world and we are so fortunate to have worked with you at the school. You make all of us at the University of New Mexico Lobo proud. Thank you. Firstly, congratulations. This moment, years in the making, is all about you. This time, it's your time. All the time you put into this behind you, well spent and even better savored in front of you. Here's to you, the makers and fixers, the designers and builders, the problem solvers and the problem creators. Let me explain. In preparation for this commencement address and endeavoring to make sure that my remarks relative to this celebration of you, as I just said, and your achievement, that I did my homework. Something you may never have to do again in a higher educational setting. Unless, of course, you become one of those poet journalist types, like. But I came across this podcast on the, the New Books Network, hosted by Renee Garfinkel, called New Books in Architecture. The author being interviewed was Scott Burkun, and he was doing, as authors do, promoting his new book, How Design Makes the World. Now, at the risk of sounding like an infomercial for the book and for the podcast, Burkun brought to my attention a recent University of Virginia study that explains the human tendency to look at a situation, any situation or object that needs improvement in different contexts and instead generally believe adding an element is a better solution than removing one. So we could look at this. The end of your academic journey to date is two things. The number of years of schooling it took to get here, additive, or the number of years you have left. Improvement by subtraction can also be a framework for intelligent design. Just ask Marie Kondo. So why does that begat new problems, you might be asking? Well, there lies a difference between simply building something and actual design. Burkun used the example of the automobile as the primary invention that revolutionized human life in the 19th century. Once working class people were, were able to afford a car, they were able to live further from work, further from each other, and still see each other with some frequency. It revolutionized our economy and many other things. It solved problems we didn't even know we had. Only the wealthy had the problem and the privilege of travel and distance. But then we created other things to solve for. Things that you as planners actually plan for, like, like suburbs, traffic, TSA, 
roads, the lived environment, the way towns and cities grow. So you just solved for higher education. And the new problem you just created has become an unavoidable, persistent, and somewhat annoying question that plagues graduates from all walks of academia. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do next? But I already know what you are going to do. The same thing you've been preparing to do for the past X number of years and will continue to do solve for basic human needs, even when they are not your own. Do you know how much respect I personally have for people who have spent the last two, four, six, eight plus years in school acquiring knowledge to solve problems for other people? Our needs for shelter, our needs for sustainable growth, the implications to the environment that that has, the implications to public health that that has, the implications to our collective quality of life. So you've, con you've successfully completed all the requirements for entry into a field that is epistemologically bound to stay up very late at night, obsessing over every single one of our possible futures, planning as earnestly for the ones that will never happen as you plan for the one that will. We've taken the saying things to our children like, uh, I put a roof over your head. Well, you put a roof over my children's head with the belief that even poor people deserve the, the beauty and the residual spiritual benefits of intelligent and incredible design. And if you ever set foot in a housing project, you know I ain't lying. As I told Dean Gonzalez, uh, I'm a longtime fan of this program. Some of the best people and professors I've had the pleasure of knowing were part of it back in the day when it was still located across the street. The kind of people that believe building anything starts with building community. Build relationships like bridges, build workplaces out of good energy, build homes that give families a blank canvas for their dreams. In his book, Birkin quotes another author, that's common in books, authors quoting authors, uh, Victor Papanek, who said, design is basic to all human activity. Any attempt to separate design, make it a thing by itself, works counter to the fact that design is the primary underlying matrix of all life. Design is composing an epic poem, executing a mural, painting a masterpiece, writing a concerto. Take it from me, I don't know about all that and whether a, a epic poem is designed, but what I do know is as you design your life from here on out with a degree, an actual degree, as opposed to some certificate in design thinking, you will ask, all the right questions because you have questions like what do I want to improve who do I want to improve it for and how including you
Graduates, think about the world that you want to live in. I know that this past year and a half has not been that world, and it's taken its toll. We all feel it, some of us more than others, yet here we are. But if we take a minute to also imagine the sheer volume of projects, written, drawn, spoken, visualized, that you have done to take on issues of social and environmental justice that imagine a more equitable, regenerative, and beautiful world, there's no shortage of ideas, of hope, of dreams, and alternative realities. As we move forward, separate and together, let's not lose sight of those visions. Because how can we possibly change the world if we haven't first imagined that world? You have done that. You have set the groundwork and the standard. It is never just a grade, a motion forward. It is your future, a shared dream, and you have the foundations and the skills to continue to build it. Aside from wishing you the best of luck, which I sincerely do, I'd like to thank you for choosing UNM, for designing and building community within our walls and our screens, and continually challenging us, your instructors, to expand our thinking too. We have learned so much from you. I also want to thank you for being curious, kind, and generous collaborators. These skills, above all, will benefit you moving forward. You know the question that I love to ask on the first day of class, what brings you joy? Please continue to ask yourself that question because it's actually really important. It's not just an icebreaker. Joy gives us energy and strength to do the difficult work, and there's no shortage of that. And it's also not always separate from joy. Honor yourselves by engaging in the answer to that simple question. Okay, is that cheesy enough for you? The good news is that it comes from an authentic place. I believe in what I have said, and I believe in you. Congratulations, graduates. Onward with joy, and stay in touch. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Francisco Viña. I'm the director of the Historic Preservation and Regionalism uh, Graduate Certificate Program. So one of the first things that I would like to, I guess, tell you guys, you know, as students, uh, congratulations on your new accomplishment of, uh, of graduating this semester. I know it's been a really rough year, start of a new year, and a really rough 2020 as well. Not, not just for me, but I think for everybody. I, I believe that we are lacking, and I think even more and more daily and, uh, and recently, that human interaction. It's very, very different, you know, being on Zoom. I think that it was the new thing uh, last year, and we were able to work through Zoom for a while, but now it's getting a bit tired and tiresome for many of us, and, and not just you guys, but also for us as well. It, it's not easy accomplishing certain things over Zoom. We really do need that human interaction. But once again, congratulations for all those students that are in CRP, different concentration in CRP, in architecture, in landscape architecture, and especially in the Historic Preservation and Regionalism program, which is, uh, which is big. You know, it's big because you are all, you know, carrying not just your, you know, own degree, but, you know, you know a, a graduate certificate on top of that. So um, the other thing is that I wanted to mention is that uh, on my life, you know, um, I, things are going well with me. Um, do not worry. Uh, my doctor has said that he's going to stop treatment, but it has been really difficult, not just because of me. You know, as long as I keep positive and, uh, and I hope that you guys also keep positive as well, we will soon be maybe going to somewhat of a normalcy, you know, or normal semester, you know, in the fall. Summer is still debatable, but uh, but in the fall, we hopefully will be back in person. Still, you know, keep safe distances, you know, please, you know, continue to use your, your face masks. But the other thing that, uh, that I wanted to mention, it's been rough. It's been a rough 2020, especially 2021. And uh, not just in Albuquerque, not just in our personal lives, but in, uh, in the national news, international news, this, uh, the COVID is not over. And uh, it might be maybe somewhat over, and not over, I think that it's still, you know, out there 
please people get vaccinated if, if you actually have the chance uh, to not just for yourself, but also for other people to keep safe as well. Um, so the other things, you know, that you should also be, uh, that I really was bummed about, about was the, you know, everything that happened this past year, you know, and it continues to happen. It's, it, it doesn't go away. You know, when it comes to Black Lives Matter, the um, uh, racism, the discrimination, environmental issues, all these things are out there, guys, you know. So when you go out there, you know, please, you know, you're going to be battling with a, with a lot of these issues that perhaps in my, when I first graduated, you know, as an undergrad and then later as a grad, they were different um, matters that we actually were faced with. But you guys have a really challenging uh, year and challenging life ahead of you guys. So I wish you the best. And, and please, you know, go out there, be safe. Remember that. And, uh, and uh, again, congratulations on this uh, amazing accomplishment that you guys have, uh, have, you know, that you deservingly, you know, have worked really hard to, to get it done. So congrats, guys. Good evening, my, my students, parents, fellow teachers, and friends. I am Kuku Ayangar, Acting Chair of the Department of Architecture. I th thank John Qualley for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. I have had the pleasure of teaching in this university for the last 21 years and I have taught some of you in the last couple of years. I remember your eagerness and nervousness when you first started here and when I see you now, I feel so proud to note how much you have learned and matured in these two to three years. I have truly enjoyed your growth and acquisition of knowledge. Last year has been tough and challenging for all of us due to pandemic and online teaching. Because of your commitment and passion, you persisted and arrived at this point to receive your degree. You have learned a lot and shared a lot with your classmates and the teachers. We all have enriched ourselves through this experience. When you enter the workforce or engage in your own pursuit of professional work and challenge is to deal with evolving field of architecture involving technological development, effects of climate change, and its consequences and politics. The consequences of global warming, unrest in the world, inequalities, challenging power issues, development of new building materials and their proper use are some of the critical areas you will have to deal with. You need to understand and act on energy efficiency, type of fuels to produce electricity to minimize carbon emissions in this country and globally, solar, wind and other resources. Some of these challenges and opportunities you have already explored and researched through net zero buildings in this school, yet you have a long way to go, but the journey will be interesting. In conclusion, I want to retell a story which I have shared with you in my lectures. This midrashic story was retold by Nobel Prize winner Eli Wiesel, who was a Holocaust survivor. The story goes like this. There is a bunch of people in a boat in the middle of an ocean. 
sometime in the middle of the night one man starts drilling a hole in the boat using an auger everyone in the boat shriek at him what are you doing that man quietly looks at others and says i have paid my way and what i do where i am sitting is none of your business what he cannot understand and others cannot forget is that they are all in the same boat please remember we are all in this boat dealing with climate issues urban and other development problems interacting with fellow beings producing great architecture or dealing with pandemic we are not alone as poet robert bly says in his book iron john it is easy to follow a beaten path because you know your destination if you enter the forest from a random location the journey will be tough and have to overcome many obstacles but in the end you may arrive at the golden pond with enormous riches follow your chosen path good luck congratulations graduates i'm renya aronfoit the chair of the community and regional planning department your degrees are such significant accomplishments they reflect your perseverance and your hard work and what a time the visible fight for racial justice the covid-19 pandemic and all these extreme events that show us just how pressing environmental and climate change are and you're going to be at the forefront of shaping community environmental change we're excited to see where your careers will take you you'll use the skills and knowledge you have to go in different directions we've been honored to be on on this journey with you and we deeply respect your insight your commitments and the passions passion with which you approach your work your families and your communities each of you is going to have different positions and work in different places over the course of your lives together you're going to be taking on the most challenging issues the most important fascinating interrelated and of course always shifting issues of our time remember to always lead with your values and your passion the career you've chosen can be daunting Change can happen so slowly or too fast, but you will be there as leaders, taking the necessary steps to lead to sustained transformation. We're proud of what you've accomplished. We look forward to what is going to come, one year from now, ten years from now. Keep in touch. We will always be part of your community. And again, congratulations! This is such an important accomplishment. and at the same time it is one of so many to come